Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today I'm going to be going through how I customize my Galaxy S23 Ultra. A lot of people want to see this. I got a few comments on um, a few videos, not a few videos back, a video from a few years ago where I did this on um, a phone with my setup here. So I just want to show you guys what I do and how I do it. I keep it nice and simple. I don't like using a bunch of apps and third-party plugins and all that kind of stuff um, just all over my phone. So a couple people, they'll use GoodLock to do custom icons, and I'm going to tell you why I don't do that. And that is because the icons do not update. So if you have things like the calendar icon right here, um, or icons that are dynamic like the clock, they do not um, show the current, you know, they won't show the current date and stuff like that. And whenever you download a new app, you have to completely redo and reapply your icon pack through GoodLock. So I don't use GoodLock. What I do is I just go ahead and use Nova Launcher. And there's a couple reasons I use Nova Launcher besides that, which we'll get into here in a minute. But I use Nova Launcher for my icon pack. Um, or to use my icon packs. Um, so that's what we're using here. Um, just Nova Launcher Prime, which works perfectly fine. Um, it's a really good launcher, probably one of the best out there. And it lets you do a bunch of other things as well. Um, you can, of course, customize your home screen rows and columns on stock One UI. But I just like the way this comes default. Um, I can get a lot of icons on one page. You know, I like to keep them down low where they're in, um, you know, fingers reach of my thumb when I'm holding my phone with one hand. So I'll keep widgets up on the top of the screen and my icons up on the bottom half. And once it's about three rows tall on the page, you know, of course this down here is static so it stays there no matter what page you're on. But I'll go about three icons up and start a new page. And of course I like to utilize folders so I can get more icons on there and group them together and that kind of stuff. Um, so up here we have uh, just the device care, storage, memory, and the optimization button right there, just so I can keep an eye on things on the top of this page. And then we have the Galaxy Buds 2 um, widget right here, so I can control my Buds 2, see the battery, um, turn you know active noise cancellation and stuff like that on and off right here without having to go into the settings app. Um, so that's that. Um, I do have the battery widget, but it's not working with Nova Launch right now. I think they need to update um, for that new widget. It kind of just bunches everything together instead of laying it out across the screen. Um, so that's why I'm not using that one right now. The wallpaper is from Backdrops. That's where I get all my wallpapers from. So um, if you want to get wallpapers, go ahead and check out um, Backdrops. Let's see, I thought I put it in the tools section, but I guess I didn't. Um, so Backdrops right here, it's free on the App Store. They do have like a pro version um, that gets you some extra packs and stuff like that. Um, but they're updated quite frequently, and they've got a bunch of different stuff on here that you can find, um, like the Pro Pack and all that kind of stuff, AMOLED Pack, which is included with Pro. So a bunch of different stuff to choose from on there. You can download it to your phone, or if you don't want to download it as a photo, you can just apply the wallpaper directly from the app. Um, but I like to save them, that way when I switch between them, I don't have to go back and find it on the app again if I want to go back to it. Um, so that's what I'm using for that. And then these are just the default widgets up here. I don't use KWGT or anything like that, but if you want to get more out of your widgets, if you want to customize your widgets a lot more, you can check out KWGT on the App Store. It is paid. Um, there are, are paid plugins and pay packs for it. So you can do a lot more with your widgets that way. Um, but this is what I have. It's basically almost stock. And like I said, I use Nova Launcher because I like the drawer and the, the custom, customization that, um, that Nova Launcher gives you with the home screen layout. Um, you can change your icon size and all that kind of stuff. Again, you can do most of this in stock One UI, um, but this takes it to another level right here. You can change the transition effect um, on the pages. So I just have it simple. Um, so it just slides page to page. To page. Um, look and feel, you can change this. You can change your app animation and stuff like this. So how your app opens, you can do the system circle, you know, adaptive icon. You can use older styles from previous versions of Android. Those are all on there. And the light just died again. I need to fully charge my light. It keeps dying in the middle of videos. Um, but that is Nova Launcher. Um, I'm sure most of you guys know about it, but that is how I set my phone up for you. Uh, for those of you wondering um, what I'm using in my videos. Um, like I said, quite simple setup, not much to see, not much to explain on how to do it. Just uh, download Nova Launcher and play around with it and set it up as your own. I'm Colin with TechOut. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.